Hello all, welcome to part 31 of Cucumber BDD training series. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate how to use multiple hooks and how to decide their order of execution in Cucumber projects. So let's get started. So guys, in the previous sessions, I covered what exactly are the hooks with the help of at the rate before and at the rate after annotated hook methods. And then I showed you how to tag these hooks with the tags which are provided on the top of the scenarios in the feature files. Then I provided, then I explained other, uh, other hooks that are available in Cucumber apart from at the rate before and at the rate after hooks that is at the rate before step and at the rate after step hooks. Now I'm going to cover that we can specify these hooks in multiple, okay? It's not compulsory that only one hook should to be provided. For example, at the rate before hook is there, okay? That, that at the rate before you don't have to provide only for a single method, you can provide for multiple methods that will become multiple hooks. If there are multiple hooks, who will decide the order, okay? How to decide the order, which hook need to be executed first is something we have to know. That is possible with the help of order attribute, okay? I'll show you that practically in this session. I'll switch to this Eclipse ID and uh, what I'll do is I'll just uh, pick one of these uh, step definition classes. You can go to any of the step definition classes, guys. It can be either login.java, register.java or search.java. So earlier I have created the uh, this uh, hooks in search.java. Now I'll uh, try to create in register.java, guys, okay? Let's change a bit. Just change the place, let's it. Okay. In the step definition class of register, one of the step definition class you just open and try to create the hooks. Guys, okay. So I'll say public wide, public wide, set up one. I'll say set up one for now, just a sample method. Here I'm demonstrating, guys, demonstrating how you can have multiple hooks. Okay. I'll annotate this with at the rate before, and this will become a before hook. Okay. Import this from Cucumber library, io cucumber.java, and here write down. Just for the demonstration purpose, I'll be writing here just to identify this uh, in the output console. I'll just add some double place. You see, other statements are having double greater than symbol, but this hook methods are having double place. Okay. I'll say uh, setup one got executed. Okay. Setup one uh, before hook. Okay. Before hook method got executed. I'll write down. Okay. And at the end also, I'll say double place so that we can identify that in the Eclipse out output console. And uh, you see, there is no uh, rule that you should have only one hook, okay? You can copy paste the same thing, okay? Either in the same step definition file or in another step definition file, that's okay, guys. So what happens is you can have multiple hook methods, okay? Multiple hooks, you see, at the rate before hook is duplicated here, okay? Multiple, multiple uh, before uh, hook methods can be there. And which hook method should be executed if they, you have multiple hooks. You can have three also, okay? Again, you can have three also. I'll just say it as three. And here also I'll change the stuff like uh, set up uh, two, I'll say set up three, okay? There may be some situations in real time where we, where you may have to use multiple before uh, hook methods, but uh, not generally possible, okay? But, but if there is a possibility and uh, if that happens, if the situation comes, then, what order in which this uh, before hook methods will be executed, we have to understand, okay? Before hook, as you already know, will be executed before every scenario in every feature file, okay? Even though it's specified only in one of the step, step definition class, but it will be applicable for all the scenarios in all the feature files. Before every scenario in every feature file got, gets executed, this before hook method will be executed. But here we have multiple, you can have four, you can have five, up to you guys, okay? But I'll just, uh, uh, for sample, I'm taking only three here. So let's say this setup one I want because as a name speaks setup one, it should be run first, setup two should be run second, setup three should be run third before every scenario of the every feature file. So here uh, I'll write down order is equal to zero. I'll, st I'll start with zero, okay? Zero means, uh, for before zero means it will be executed first, okay? Order is equal to one, it will be executed next second. Then if I say order is equal to two, it will be executed third, okay? One, two, three, like that, okay? Uh, uh, lower number to higher number, it will be deciding the order. So now let's go to the my runner and see how these before hooks are getting executed, okay? Uh, right click, run as uh, 
J init. You see multiple before hook methods are there. Okay, it it can be before uh, step also. Uh, you can have multiple before step methods also. That's okay. But I'm just demonstrating with at the rate before hook for now. Just see here, guys. You see three three times. Okay, setup one order order is equal to one. Okay, so we have provided order is equal to one for setup one. What is executed here? Setup two order is equal to setup three order is equal to three. Okay. And similarly here, if you come down for second scenario also, setup one, setup two, setup three. Okay, for every scenario, before every scenario gets executed, this uh, before hook methods in the specified order are getting executed. Order zero is coming first, order one is coming second, order uh, two is coming third, okay? For every scenario, you can go till the last scenario, guys. You will see that before hook methods, multiple before hook methods are getting executed before every scenario in every feature file, okay? In the specified order, okay? As per the order, given order. Now, what about the after hooks? Okay, here we have given multiple before hooks in the register. Okay, what about after hooks? Okay, so if I say uh, public void uh, tier down one or closure one, whatever the name you want to take up, you just take up. Okay, tier down one. I'll say at the rate after import this from Cucumber, IO Cucumber Java, and write down here system dot out dot print ln double quotes, just write on plus plus, uh, tear down one after hook method got executed, say plus plus, or here we'll say minus minus for a difference. Minus minus, okay? Just to differentiate from the before hooks, I'm just writing minus minus into the after. And here, tear down two I'll mention, and uh, this is another after hook method, multiple after hook methods I'm creating to then here I'll give third one, tear down three. Okay, I'll say three. You see, here we have multiple tear down hooks. So in which order they will be executed? Unlike unlike before hooks, where order zero represents the first priority, order one represents the second priority, order two represents the third priority, right? So this one will be executed first, but here it will happen in a reverse manner. In case of after, it will happen in a reverse manner. So the last one you provide, okay, you see down three, three you, for three you provide order zero guys, okay? This will be executed last, okay? Then order is equal to one. This will be executed last but one. And uh, order is equal to two. So after every scenario, first order is equal to two will be executed, then order is equal to one will be executed, then order is equal to zero will be executed, okay? So it happens in a reverse order, guys, okay? In case of before, zero means first, but in case of after, zero means last, okay? In case of after, zero means last, it will be executed last, okay? That's what you have to understand, guys, okay? You see, tear down three should come last, right? So I'm just giving order is equal to zero here, but in case of before, order is equal to zero means it will be executed first, before the scenario, First, it will be executed, then it will be executed, then this before will be executed. After the execution of the scenario, first order is equal to two, higher number will be executed first, then order is equal to one will be executed, order is equal to zero will be executed. This is how it is designed, guys, okay? So don't get confused, it's how it works, okay? We'll see that. If everything is working fine, one, two, three, then one, two, three should come, okay? You see here, Plus, plus, plus thing, one, two, three. Order is equal to zero, order is equal to one, order is equal to two. After every scenario, you see, order is equal to two. Order is equal to two is running first, okay? For tier down one, I gave order is equal to two. Order is equal to one is running second, order is equal to zero is running last, okay? It's a reverse order. Here, it's reverse, it's different, okay? You can see that one, two, three, one, two, three, everything is working fine, okay? Last scenario also, we can check one, two, three, one, two, three, but here, Order is equal to zero, order is equal to one, order is equal to two. Here, three, one, three, three is having order is equal to zero, two is having order is equal to one, one is having order is equal to two, okay? Reverse order. So this is how, guys, uh, this is how, if you have multiple hooks and uh, if you specify the order, they will be executed in that particular given order, okay? So that's all for this session, guys. Uh, I have one more session to take regarding the hooks, okay? I have to explain about one attribute known as value attribute. Okay, I'll be covering in the next session. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.